Welcome to the void, an endless expanse of nothingness hiding below the bedrock surface. You've probably heard of it, maybe you've even fallen into it, but did you know that the void actually represents a paradox, for it defies the very nature of what it should be. So let's dive in and explore this intriguing contradiction. Minecraft is a game where creativity knows no bounds. You can build and explore endlessly. Well, unless you venture too high or too far down. As you'll hit the void, you'll find that blocks can't be placed here, and even water stops flowing. The void seems to defy the game's core mechanics. In Minecraft survival mode, you can face immense challenges, but always, you can find a way to overcome them. Well, Except when you fall in the void, no amount of enchanted golden apples or clever strategies will save you. You're doomed. So this creates a slight paradox, an unbreakable barrier in a world that otherwise seems limitless. But let's dig a little deeper. The term void, according to the Oxford Dictionary, means completely empty. And on the surface, the void in Minecraft does appear completely empty. But once you break through the bedrock and actually access it, you'll see that that is clearly not the case. Because there's air in the first 64 blocks, allowing you to breathe comfortably without any issues. So if there's air that we can breathe in, then there is something in the void. And thus, it's not completely empty. And thus, the void is not a void. Moreover, the fact that you start taking damage after 64 blocks suggests that there are layers in the void, perhaps akin to an atmosphere. But if there are layers of differing states, the void is certainly not empty. Something must be down there to cause these layers to materialise. Additionally, if you look down from above, you might notice a reflection of light coming from the void. Light needs something to bounce off, indicating that the void contains more than just nothing. There is something down there. So clearly, the void isn't a true void. And that's part of the paradox. The region that we call the void is not completely empty, and therefore it cannot be a void. The void defies Minecraft's usual rules. Water can't flow there, and blocks can't be placed. Yet, entities can somehow enter it. There seems to be an invisible barrier preventing anything but entities from moving into the void. But since barriers can't be nothing, there must be something at the top layer of the void. Also, once you fall into that dangerous part of the void, you'll take 4 hearts of damage for every 10 game ticks. No armour, no potions, nor any enchantments will save you. In only 2.5 seconds, you'll just be dead. Even the Totem of Undying won't work to keep you alive. The intense force of the Void will kill you, no matter what. In fact, it will consume any beings who dare enter. It's a domain of certain death, sparing no one. Except, of course, the magical subscribe button. <laughs> Sorry, um... Only the Ender Dragon can survive in the Void. Wait, if the Void was truly empty, then no being should be alive there. And so once again, this suggests that the Void isn't complete nothingness, and there must be something within the Void that's keeping the Dragon alive, as no living being can survive in a vacuum. We can also hear sounds in the Void, and for sound to travel, there must be particles for the sound waves to hit. And so once again, there must be something in the void. There's no other option. Additionally, the very fact that we can enter the void implies that it's not an absolute void. True nothingness can't be seen and it can't be accessed. Thus, the paradox remains. As soon as we interact with or observe a void, it ceases to be a true void. And so there is no real void in Minecraft.
The void also varies in appearance. It's black in the overworld and nether, but turns purple in the end. A stark, eerie contrast. The void is unsettling, which often reminds us of its grave danger. In the end, where the void is prominent, you have to carefully navigate over it in order to obtain an elytra. There is no other way. You must travel over that terrifying abyss if you wish to obtain those magical wings. The Void has been a staple of Minecraft since its early days, integral to the game's visuals and gameplay. It's been around since the in-dev days of the game. Falling into it triggers the ominous you fell out of the world, message. Wait a second. That's quite interesting, and this minor phrasing could actually mean a lot for the game's lore. The Void represents a paradox. It's not true nothingness, and it shouldn't exist in the way that it does. Or at least, it shouldn't be called the Void. So, what exactly is it then? Well, some theories suggest that the Void is actually a guardian entity. Something designed to protect worlds from malevolent forces of ex-gods and spirits. They call this entity... Null. Others could speculate that the Void is composed of mysterious dark anti-mass particles, the Repel Blocks and Repel Liquids, but somehow allow entities through. Others might even think of it as a portal to a whole new dimension, because we know that the Void, from the death message, is outside the bounds of a regular world. Okay, but none of these theories fully explain the Void's nature, and they all invalidate the Void's status of being, well, an actual Void, and so the paradox remains. So realistically, there's only one clear answer. The void is all a lie. It was never really a void, but instead something else that we will never truly be able to understand, and that name is just a deception. But at the same time as this deception, the void is still a deeply fascinating and eerie aspect of Minecraft. Not necessarily the scariest part of the game, but it's definitely up there. Wait. What's actually the scariest part of Minecraft then? Because the void is rather terrifying. Well, that's revealed in this video.